This is the Pico cast on. I need to cast on five stitches total in order to start. So I'm going to use the long tail to cast on two, and then I'm going to switch to the cable cast on, which is what I'll use for the rest of this process. So I'm going to cast on three. There's three total, four, oops, and five. So now I'll start the pico. What I do is I cast off two. So there is one cast off, two cast off, and then I've got three stitches total left and I slip the stitch on the right hand needle over to the left hand needle. And then I need to cast on four more stitches in order to have a total of five to do another pico repeat. So there's two stitches, three, and you do the cast, cable cast on a little bit loose so you can have room to get your needle in there. Four. And five. Oops, I keep losing that last one. So now I will cast off two. There's two cast off, and then I slide that one back over to the left hand needle, and I've got two little picots done. So each time you do a pico, you end up casting on three stitches. And when you knit back, you kind of close up this little gap that's right here. So you'll have a little bit of a gap, but not like it is now because there's so much room between these stitches. And that's all there is to it.